Every city has its own hidden gems, those charming, off-the-beaten-path locations that can only be found by those who are in the know, and London has its fair number of them. You might be surprised to learn that there are hidden gems in downtown London as well, disguised by the commotion of all the great city attractions that divert visitors from giving these locations the attention they so obviously merit. These lesser-known locations in the heart of London make for an excellent self-guided walking tour because they are all close to one another between Mayfair and Tower Bridge. On this tour of the city center's hidden gem, secret oasis, and incredible street art. And for more info look in the description. So let's start. Number 12. The Graffiti Tunnel. Underneath Waterloo Station, the League Street Arches or Vaults is the longest legal graffiti wall in London and a buzzing destination for urban art and entertainment. It's essentially a free mart gallery where anyone can bring spray cans and get to work, as long as you follow the rules. The artwork changes every day as new artists discover the underground scene. Number 11. St. Catharine Docks Marina. The city's sole marina is tucked away in a little area of London, right near to Tower Bridge and the Tower of London. If these two famous landmarks weren't there to overshadow it, it would not in any way qualify as a hidden gem. St. Catharine Docks is a wonderfully lovely area of the city and a fascinating sight to visit, with all of its moored-up historic sailing boats and more contemporary spectacular yachts. Since 1968, when it stopped being used as a commercial pier, more and more bars and eateries have popped up nearby, allowing you to eat dinner while taking in a view that will transport you far from the English city. Number 10. Leadenhall Market. This gem, whose history dates all the way back to the 14th century, is another with countless tales of London over the ages. Leadenhall Market is located on the site of the former Roman Londinium Center, which originally housed a meat and poultry market. The stunning Grade Roman II listed building is now home to a thriving pub, as well as boutique stores, cafes, wine bars and restaurants. This gorgeous indoor market served as Diagon Alley in the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone movie, making it one of London's Harry Potter filming locations. Number 9. The Royal Exchange. This is a strange entry on the list because the Royal Exchange is such a large, imposing structure but most tourists to London tend to pass it by. This historic structure, which is nearby Bank Tube Station, was constructed in the 16th century and had to be rebuilt three times, twice as a result of severe fires. The Royal Exchange offers upscale shopping today, as well as the possibility of enjoying a glass of champagne inside at Fortnum and Mason. The shooting prospects are also quite appealing. Number 8. St. Dunstan in the East. This undiscovered treasure is very unique. Despite being a tranquil park in the middle of bustling London, St. Dunstan in the East has a troubled history. The Great I listed church from the 1100s was partially devastated by the Blitz in 1941 but survived the Great Fire of London. The ruins were converted into a public garden in 1970, and now, only a short distance from London Bridge and the Tower of London, it provides a peaceful haven amidst the city's activity. Number 7. Barbican Conservatory Though you may be familiar with Kew Gardens and their spectacular indoor conservatories, did you realize that London also has a conservatory? This undiscovered gem is undoubtedly the most exotic on this list because it contains tropical plants, animals, and fish inside a big glass conservatory that simulates various temperatures from across the world. The second largest indoor rainforest in London, the Barbican Conservatory, has been open since 1984 and is entirely free to visit. Although there is no entry fee, you must reserve your visit date and time in advance. Number 6. London Mithraeum The most notable Roman relics found in London during the 20th century were discovered on the location of Bloomberg's European headquarters. During the 1954 excavation of a Second World War bomb site on Walbrook, the bones were discovered. They discovered what turned out to be the ruins of a Roman-era temple dedicated to the god Mithras. Now that Londonium was established about 2,000 years ago, you can go below Bloomberg's Europe headquarters to tour the ancient temple for yourself and gain an insight into life at that time. Number 5. Postman's Park This adorable little garden in the center of London is just a short stroll from St. Paul's Cathedral. Postman's Park so named because it was such a well-liked luncheon location for employees at the neighboring old General Post Office back in the 1800s, offers peace and quiet. Take a seat on one of the benches and take in the surroundings. The Watts Memorial to Heroic Self-Sacrifice, 
which was created by G.F. Watts in 1990 as a way to honor the lives of regular individuals who gave their lives in an effort to rescue someone else's, is one of the garden's most notable attractions. Number 4. Covent Garden Telephone Boxes Following a post office competition in 1924, Sir Giles Gilbert Scott created the recognizable red telephone box. Five of the iconic red phone boxes are lined up in a row behind Covent Garden on a tiny road, perfectly positioned for a stereotypically British picture. Number 3. Smallest Police Station in Britain If you've ever visited Trafalgar Square, it's likely that you've unknowingly driven by this before. A true hidden gem is located right in the heart of London and holds the title for being Britain's smallest police station. It was constructed in 1926 within an elegant light fixture because the neighborhood wanted it to be less obvious. To keep a watch on the square for additional unruly protesters, it managed to fit one or two police officers at once. In case backup was required, a direct phone line to Scotland Yard was even constructed. Number 2. Pickering Place The tiniest square in Britain. Pickering Place, next to St. James Palace, was formerly the scene of duels, bear baiting, and gambling dens because of its remote location. It still has Georgian era artifacts, and a sign indicates that it was once home to the Texan Republic's embassy more over 150 years ago. The Texan Republic's embassy was located at Pickering Place before the nation joined the U.S. in 1845, before it turned into a noted hotspot for criminal activities. Number 1. The Royal Arcade it's doubtful that you have heard of or considered visiting this breathtaking location in Mayfair unless you're in London for some high-end designer shopping. The Royal Arcade, which opened in 1879 and still has all of its exquisite upper-class Victorian features, is London's oldest purpose-built shopping arcade. Since it was first constructed, it has barely been altered. It still contains a lot of upscale shops that are certainly out of most of our budget ranges but that doesn't stop anyone from admiring the impressive architecture and decor while doing some window shopping. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. And for more info look in the description. Thanks for watching.